Well, I must start off by thanking for the ramp. Um, it's a pity it's blocked, but uh, overcoming adversity is what I talk about, so I think that was a perfect example. In 2007, while on patrol in Basra, I was blown up by a roadside bomb. The soldier sitting opposite me, well, there was not very much left of him. It taught me what truly is important in life, and that is life and what little time we have on this planet. I needed a challenge to reaffirm my life, so I set out to row across the Atlantic. I got together with four other amputees, and we set out to prove a point to the disabled community that just because you are wounded doesn't mean you are limited in what you do. That row, which took me and my fellow rowers 51 days to complete, taught me another lesson in life. Time on this planet is very, very limited. And I left the army motivated by that row, and I now travel the world, and I speak at conferences, and I speak of motivation. And I find from my 10 years in the military experience that your businesses are lacking that moral single thing that we all innately have. I incorporate in my talks or inspiring imagery, and I tailor each an individual talk to your businesses. I take your business messages and I weave them into the talks. Whatever message you need to deliver to your clients or to your delegates, I sit down with you and I learn what message you want them to receive. And I tell you, it is very, very hard to do that as a speaker. To actually take the message and subliminally weave it into that talk so that they receive it loud and clear. My talks naturally have the reoccurring theme of motivation. Goal setting. To set out in a little boat from La Gomera in the Canary Islands to row across the Atlantic to Barbados, you need to know what you're doing. You need the ability and the know-how to overcome adversity. Our rudder broke. We lost two oars. Our water maker broke. Our emergency water maker broke. We were stranded in the middle of the Atlantic for 18 days, rationed on one and a half liters of water per person per day. Because we were all soldiers and because we will never fail, we never spoke of failure. We were worked as a team. And that is what I talk about. It is not common for a soldier to, who's wounded and who has a military pension and doesn't need to do this. I just love sharing my story. And I have some great clients in the UK who use me over and over and over again, and I love it. I absolutely love sharing my story, and I would love to share it with you. And it works well. If you're looking for someone to close an event, well, 
I have done that before. The Paralympics ceremony, 2012. To a televised audience in the UK of 7.7 .7 million and over a billion worldwide. That was nerve wracking. Please do come see me afterwards if you need me to close your event. Thank you very much.